everybody. I'm Cornell Christensen, one of the two authors of Legendary Locals of Fairlawn. Uh, Jane D. Pervian is down in Florida for the winter. She'll be back in April, and she'll be there for the three book signings at uh, the Dutch House Tavern, the library, and the Cadmus House, and she will do her slide presentation of the history of Fairlawn at those three book signings. Um, this is my fourth book. Uh, and I want to announce that we, in the first week we sold 700 copies. Pretty good. 700 copies, including Minuteman Press, sold out in a single day, sold all their copies. Uh, I have been a television producer and writer. I produced the Paper Chase television series uh, starring John Houseman. I am also a playwright. I have three produced musicals, one won one awards in LA, one won awards in. Uh, Salt Lake City, which is why I moved back to Fairlawn. I mean, I, I grew up in Fairlawn, went to Bradburn School, went to Fairlawn High School, was valedictorian at Fairlawn High School, which, captain of the track team. So I moved back because I have two musicals opening off Broadway. One is about the life of Marilyn Monroe called Marilyn Confidential. It's going to open a year from this March. So that's March 2015. And uh, I hope you all come see it. Now the book, Legendary Locals of Fairlawn, has 125 of the most famous people of Fairlawn and 30 famous businesses. Now, we couldn't get them all in, so this is a representative sample. One of the key criteria for getting in the book was could we get a photograph of you? And I actually took 60 of the photographs that are in the book. So you can't just take a photo off the internet. Uh, the resolution isn't good enough for publishing and uh, you have to have the rights. So we, we had to get photos of all these people. In fact, uh, this photo of Milton Berle I purchased and was putting in the book. I had gotten permission to put it in the book and the last minute the publisher pulled it out. Uh, they had cold feet, the uh, legal department. So we put in a photo of the exterior of the house instead. Uh, for the athletes in the book, I had the cooperation uh, and I thank Kathy Schofield for this. The Fairland High School Athletic Hall of Fame provided me with the addresses of the athletes so I could write to them and get photos of them and I got all action photos of the athletes doing their sport, which came out very nice, I think. Now, just to briefly mention some of the famous people from Fairlawn, start with Milton Berle, built a house in Fairlawn. It was his, his weekend country home from New York City. Uh, the picture window has a view of the old mill down on Lo Lower Saddle River. That's why he built it in Fairlawn. It was actually his mother's house, but he and his family came out and used the swimming pool and the tennis court every weekend, so it was Milton Berle's country house. Lee Meredith went to Fairlawn High School, and she's famous for, and here is her Miller Lite uh, beer commercial that ran for 15 years with Mickey Spillane. Here's Millie Perkins, who is the sister of this lady right here, Chris Andrews, and she got to kiss Elvis Presley in this movie, which is really something. She also kissed Jack Nicholson. She did Jack Nicholson's first two movies. She was uh, Anne in the Diary of Anne Frank. Over here again is Milton Berle. He was the first television star. In fact, people say they bought their first TV just to see Milton Berle. Here's Lee Meredith and the producers with Gene Wilder and Zero Mostel. And here's Ron Paranowski, probably the most famous athlete from Fairlawn, and he won a World Series. Now, um, I don't have Ubi Brown. Ubi Brown, who's on the cover, he's probably the most famous person in, in right now in, in, from Fairlawn, because everyone who knows sports knows Yubi Brown. Uh, he's the basketball sports commentator. He also coached Bruce Jankowski in football, basketball, and baseball. And Bruce Jankowski, who's the greatest football player in the history of Fairlawn, he, uh, he was coached by three Hall of Fame coaches, Yubi uh, Brown in high school, Woody Hayes in, at Ohio State, and uh, at, for, for the Kansas City Chiefs, Hank Scram. Uh, here's Donna Vivino, starring right now in Wicked on Broadway. Here's our mayor, Mr. Cosgrove, and his father, the fire chief over here. So these are just some of the famous people from Fairlawn. And this is the most famous business from Fairlawn. Uh, as, I, as, I travel around, as I travel around the United States, I say to people, I'm from Fairlawn, New Jersey, and they immediately say, Leah and Perens, because it's on every 
table in every restaurant in America, and it says right on the back, made in Fairlawn, New Jersey. So that's why everybody knows this. Okay, now I'm gonna call up some of the legendary locals uh, to get a photo here in front. And this is all being videotaped by one of our legendary locals right here, Wayne Robbins. Uh, for these photos, Mr. Cosgrove, would you please come up here? Mr. Andrews. Okay, uh, Michael here is an artist. He makes monsters for Halloween here. <coughs> They're really scary, really great. Charlotte here is a do-gooder. She and her friend Nikki Cassell, they go door to door and collect stuffed animals. They've collected hundreds and hundreds of stuffed animals and they deliver them to the Maple Glen nursing home. This is what they do. Is this okay? Uh, so thank you all. Next up, this is Larry Hawkman. He's got five Tony nominations for Broadway musicals that he orchestrated. Four losses. And he, he won for Book of Mormon. He did win Four Book of Mormon. He is a Tony winner. Yay! And everybody knows Dick here. He's the voice of the Fairlawn High School Cutters. And he's been a big sports fan here in town for decades. Thank you. Oh, and Chris Andrews over here. She won a modeling contest at 23. And another one at 73. She won the AARP. Uh, national modeling contest, beating out 15,000 contestants. Whoa. All my kids voted, now they're friends. <laughs> Thank you all. Just to uh, explain, Kathy Spillfield is, is uh, secretary for the Hall of Fame, the Athletic Hall of Fame, very helpful in getting the sports pictures. Joan Goldstein is one of the leaders of the Green Committee in town, very active in government. Uh, Meredith LeVan is on PBS television. Uh, she, she has music videos of children's songs. They play in between Sesame Street and other, other shows. So she's known all over the country for her, and she's from Fairlawn High School. Yes, Lisa Swain was city council, borough council, and former mayor. And we have... Yes, the uh, manager of Leah Perrin. Did you hear my bid on Leah Perrin? Yeah, you Perrin? did. The most famous business in town. Yeah, let's hear it for everybody. All right. So tonight, we're here to celebrate two of the main legendary locals of Fairlawn. And the speeches are very brief, everyone. And everyone, be sure to take some refreshments when you have a moment. But uh, we're celebrating tonight Columbia Bank and its outstanding CEO, Thomas Kemley. And to, to celebrate the bank, John Cosgrove is going to speak about the bank. Thank you, Cornell. I just want to start out by uh, thanking you and Jane Devine for the great job you did in putting this book together. Uh, and I know anyone who's looked at it has uh, said it's remarkable and it's recorded a lot of Fairlawn's history, so that's a great thing for us in Fairlawn. Uh, tonight, I have the uh, pleasure to talk about Columbia Bank. But it's funny, I was over here talking to Doug Kukin, longtime Fairlawn family, uh, over 100 years in Fairlawn, like my family. And we were talking about uh, the center section of Fairlawn is where the bank started. And the reason the bank started was to help the people there build the homes that are presently there in that area, which is down near George Street and First and Second Street and Hopper Avenue. And uh, my dad always used to compare Columbia Bank to, uh, from the movie It's a Wonderful Life, which is one of my favorite movies. It was like the Bailey building in loan because people in Fairlawn knew they could go in there on a handshake and get a loan and, and build their houses in the old days. So I want to thank you all for uh, coming tonight. We have quite a group of uh, legendary locals here with us. And I want to talk briefly about Columbia Bank, which is headquarters here in Fairlawn on Route 208. Columbia began in Fairlawn in 1927 when Mayor Robert Smith got together 12 prominent Fairlawn citizens. One of them was Nick Cupid, who eventually became a, a mayor and a freeholder. And, uh, Tom was telling Doug that he saw in the, uh, in the vault a check made out to uh, Mr. Cupid for 12 cents at that time. So, and uh, its first branch was on the corner of River Road and Fairlawn Avenue, where it still is today. Uh, it now has seven, it has seven branches in Fairlawn and 44 in New Jersey. Its assets have grown to $4.6 billion, and Columbia is the largest mutual bank in New Jersey and the fourth largest mutual bank in the United States. 
Mutual means the members own the business. There are no stockholders. And Columbia's uniqueness lies in the fact that it's a full service community bank for individuals, families, and commercial bank for business. Columbia was named the best bank in Fairlawn by a poll of patch readers. And I'd now like to introduce Councilwoman Lisa Swain to introduce the president of Columbia Bank. our next speaker. Um, it's a pleasure to be here amongst all of these great people. I feel very honored. And one of the greatest I have the pleasure of telling you about is Thomas Kemley. <clears throat> He's had extraordinary success as CEO of Columbia Bank. In just two short years, he has grown the bank from assets of $4.2 billion to $4.6 billion. That's quite an accomplishment. As he says, to be such an effective CEO, it is important to be a community leader, a problem solver, have keen strategic sense, <clears throat> and be great with numbers. Tom grew up in Tenafly and went to high school there where he played basketball and baseball. He went to college at Trenton State where he played basketball and got his MBA at Fordham. He began his career at Columbia Bank as a management trainee and worked his way up to controller, then vice president, and then CFO. He makes time for charity causes and coaches several sports teams. Above all, he be believes strongly in local community banking. It is my pleasure to introduce to you my friend and Columbia Bank CEO, Thomas Kemley. Thank you for that very nice introduction. And uh, I want to start off by first congratulating Conrad on the book. Uh, if you've had a chance to look at it, it really is it's quite a testament to Fairlawn. Uh, it's a fun read, actually. A lot of things that, uh, even as residents, you may not have under known about Fairlawn. And so uh, it's, it's really a, a great piece. Uh, I need to correct something John mentioned. Uh, he mentioned that back in the day, you could walk in and shake hands and get along. You can't do that anymore. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a way it works. So uh, just, just to make sure we, we know that. Um, but uh, at, as we mentioned, uh, Columbia Bank has been named as one of the uh, legendary uh, locals, and we're very proud of that. We've, we're very proud of our affiliation with the town of Fairlawn. Um, I've worked in Fairlawn now 34 years. Uh, it's my home away from home. And, um, and you know, uh, our participation in, in this community has been important to us and, and we appreciate being recognized. 1927, it, it opened as the local building and loan. And as, and, and as John points out, that you know that's like the, the Bailey building and loan from It's a Wonderful Life. It really is that type of company. And we still have those roots within our company, even though we, we make commercial loans and we're much bigger and we're much more technically savvy uh, the roots of the, and, the, and the feeling of our company as a mutual is uh, we are there to support communities. It's, it's what we do and it's, uh, it's very important to us. So supporting the town of Fairlawn has, has really been a tremendous opportunity and a tremendous uh, amount of gratification for us. Fairlawn um, is, is really a, a jewel in, in Bergen County with, with uh, uh, diversity, with a tremendous industrial base, with a, with a tremendous uh, a community spirit, um, uh, tremendous parks, school systems, uh, uh, top notch, and, um, and we're, we're very proud to, to participate as, as one of the local members. Uh, being voted the best bank in Fairlawn, that's a great honor. Uh, having all these branches on pretty much every corner, if we lost that one, we really would be feeling pretty foolish. So. Um, <laughs> we're very happy for that honor, but I think it does say something about our relationship with the town. Um, we have over uh, $600 million in fair one in deposits, uh, which is a fair amount of, of, of the customer base that lives in town, and we're happy uh, to do that. Uh, the town's thriving. The town's successful. Um, you know, a 
tremendous mix of professional services, small businesses, the municipal government is proactive, Chamber of Commerce, and uh, we're happy uh, to, to participate in, in local events, assist the town where possible, and we're very proud of, of the, the, uh, the mention in the uh, legendary locals. And again, congratulations to the authors, but congratulations to the community. Um, this is a, a snippet of just how successful this town is and the, and the types of residents and the types of legendary locals that are here tonight are, I mean, this is just a tremendous group of successful uh, people in all sorts of venues. So congratulations to all of you, congratulations on the book, and thank you so much to, uh, to the town uh, for uh, mentioning us. Appreciate it. I left out one thing that I wanted to say. I just ghost wrote a book for a doctor in Florida who has discovered the first treatment for Lou Gehrig's disease, the first ever treatment for it. It doesn't cure it, but it slows down the progression and even stabilizes it. So it's, gonna, it's an amazing thing. So if any of you know anyone who has, a, who ha, someone who has ALS, you should see me to get this treatment. And the book will be out in two months. It's called The Deanna Protocol. So everyone, thank you for coming. There's food over there. There are free pens over here. Sean, want a, want a pen? Sean, want a pen? Sean will take a pen. Sean will take a pen. Okay, thank you all for coming. Thank you. And don't, and don't forget to buy a book up here.